Hello and welcome to another insightful episode of our podcast. I am Dr. Harshita, your host and today we have the honor of hosting Dr. Marwa Saeed. Dr. Marwa is a distinguished dermatology specialist at Cairo Hospital of Dermatology in Egypt and AI Ahmadi Hospital in Qatar. With a master's degree in dermatology and over a decade of experience, Dr. Marwa's expertise shines particularly in pediatric dermatology. Today, she'll be sharing her valuable insights on the topic managing plaque psoriasis in pediatric patients. Welcome, Dr. Marwa. It's a pleasure to have you here with us today. Thank you. How are you? And I'm happy to be with you again. Thank, Thank you. you. Great. So uh, let's delve into our discussion. So, uh, Dr. Marwa, before we get into the details, could you shed some light on the most common triggers for flare-ups in pediatric patients with uh, plaque psoriasis? Pediatric uh, psoriasis, it, there's no major uh, difference between pediatric and adult psoriasis. So the trigger mostly the, the same, which is the most important trigger is infection. The most common infection is streptococcus infection. Generally, if for one child has a streptococcal infection, the form of tonsillitis and so on, they got uh, gaptate psoriasis. This is the most common at, uh, bacteria infection. Then it will come the staph, uh, maybe viral infection like executive virus and maybe also viral uh, um, fungal infection. Okay. The next uh, trigger is the trauma. Trauma because psoriasis is one of the diseases that showing uh, cognitive phenomena, which means if uh, the patient has a trauma in one side, that at this side he will get the uh, the disease. This is cognitive phenomena. Also, another trigger is uh, stress. Stress may be physical, maybe psychological stress. Physical stress uh, in, in form of cognitive phenomena again, and psychological can each uh, induce itchiness, and itchiness also can uh, induce cognitive phenomena. Lastly, some drugs can induce uh, psoriasis or can be uh, considered as trigger for psoriasis. Great. And uh, now, Dr. Marwa, could you elaborate on the approved biological therapies for uh, managing pediatric patients with plaque psoriasis? Okay. First, we, we should know which patient we can apply for or provide the biological uh, treatment. Uh, moderate to severe psoriasis, we can give them uh, biological treatment. The FDA approved the biological treatment for black psoriasis in children. First, TNF uh, alpha factor, tumor necrosis factor alpha inhibitor, like adilumab, like a tenor uh, set. Adilumab and tenor set both are should be the patient should be more than four years old. Also, the interleukin twelve and interleukin uh, uh, twenty three inhibitor, like uh, ostekinumab, uh, interleukin seventeen A inhibitor, like Xekinuzumab uh, and Xekinumab. This is approved for, for the uh, child psoriasis. Very interesting now, Dr. Marwa. And uh, mm -hmm. now, how mm -hmm. do the recommended dosages of these medications differ based on body weight in pediatric mm -hmm. patients? Yeah, if we are talking about pediatric patients, we should consider the body weight. First, TNF factor uh, alpha inhibitor, like a tenor set. 0.8 milligram per kg per week, maximum dose is 50 milligram. Uh, at the removal map, uh, uh, 0.8 milligram per kg uh, at week per week, but the dose should be at zero week, at one week, then every two weeks. This is for TNF alpha and hept. For NRU can 12 and 23, also uh, weight based. Ostekinumab, uh, if patient less than 60 kilogram, which is most of the, of the child, it should be for, uh, 0.75 milligram per kg per dose and at zero then four weeks then every 12 weeks but if a child obese and have a body weight more than 60 like 60 kilo, uh, 60 kilogram to 100 kilogram the dose will be uh, 45 milligram per dose not per kg per dose and if more than 100 kilogram which is impossible mostly it should be uh, 90 milligram per dose and the same sequence at uh, week zero, week four, then every 12 weeks. Finally, interleukin 17A inhibitor, also weight-based, exekizunumab, uh, if patient less than 25 kilogram, the starting dose will be 40 milligram, then at uh, zero week, and week zero, 
then every every four weeks it should be the half dose uh, 20 milligram but if patient from 25 to 50 kilogram we will double the dose to to start as 80 milligram at zero then 40 every four weeks then uh, if patient more than 50 kilogram it will be more double which will be 160 milligram at week zero then we will have the dose to be 80 every four weeks for finally uh if patient less than 50 kilograms, uh, it will be, the dose will be 75 milligram per dose, and if more 50, it will be 150 milligram per dose. The sequence will be uh, at uh, week zero, week one, week two, week three, week four. Then it should be every four weeks. This is the dosage for approved uh, biological treatment for uh, childhood rice. And Dr. Marwa, are there any specific considerations or precautions that doctors should be aware of? when using these medications? Uh, first, uh, the body weight this is the most important point to calculate the dose actually uh, or correctly. Uh, second, for all biological, we should uh, examine the, uh, or test the TB in the, in the, the patient uh, before the treatment. But specifically for TNF uh, alpha inhibitor, we should uh, test it before the treatment and annual, on annual phase. Second thing in the in the consideration we can uh, patient with very low uh, body weight uh, we cannot give uh, we cannot give biological treatment because there is recommendation yani if this then specific body weight we cannot give this one and uh, also less than four years we cannot give uh, biological uh, treatment. Yeah, thank you for that insight, uh, Dr. Marwa. Um, now, could you also discuss the potential long-term complications of plaque psoriasis in pediatric patients and strategies for prevention or minimization? Long-term, there is no actually long-term in pediatric. You know, it can differ from adult to pediatric in this point. The short term, the most common uh, side effect is injection side uh, side effect. This is the most common uh, pain, maybe reaction, but we can uh, avoid it by uh, you know, the injection before before the injection time. We keep it out of the fridge like 60 minutes or 45 minutes. This is can, you know, it should be like that. If like that, it, it patient will not feel pain. Uh, other maybe uh, the second the common upper respiratory tract infection, but yeah, second the common, but it's not so common. Uh, other rare complication, which is rare already in all biological in all ages, which is malignancy and opportunistic infection. But in children, is very rare. Yeah, you know, we did no recorded cases for malignancy for for children uh, for biological uh, treatment. Uh, and lastly, Dr. Marwa, are there any lifestyle modifications or adjunctive therapies that you recommend to improve outcomes of pediatric patients with uh, black psoriasis? Okay, first we will talk about the adjuvant treatment. Yeah, we cannot say adjuvant because the, the, the main treatment in psoriasis is topical treatment at the start. If patient recommended to take biological treatment, the biological treatment will not work in, in the moment. It takes about four weeks up to 16 weeks to give its results. So at this period of time, we need to uh, apply topical treatment in the form of topical uh, steroid. For ch childhood psoriasis, we should choose low potency steroid. We can use also a uh, calcineurin inhibitor in the form of tacrolimus or bicrolimus. In the form of tacrolimus, uh, uh, if uh, protopic more um, uh, 0.01%, uh, it should be more than 16 year old the child a yani, little bit adult and if uh, 0.003 it should be more than uh, t two years old in uh, in uh, edidel or it's bicronimus we can use it before uh, after uh, two years old this is for tropical treatment you can yani, consider it as adjuvant treatment for the lifestyle modification we can say the obesity is a yani, very important uh, factor because psoriasis now is considered as a one of the metabolic syndrome even we can consider it obesity as a trigger factor uh, yani also we can consider if patient decrease his body weight dramatically it can improve the psoriasis dramatically and we saw this uh, uh, in many patients in the clinic other thing uh, we can uh, uh, other topic vitamin d it's not a factor, it's not a trigger 
uh, factor, but uh, we found that many patients with psoriasis had a low vitamin D level. So we consider if we improve this or give supplements for vitamin D and correct the level of vitamin D, it can help in improvement of the psoriasis itself. Great, Dr. Marwa. And now we have arrived towards the end of the session. This was an enlightening dis discussion. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you for your expertise and invaluable insights. Thank you. Thank you. And a huge thank you to our audience for tuning in. And before we conclude, I want to bring your attention to the MedSynapse platform, our vibrant hub that's redefining the healthcare landscape. It serves as an invaluable resource for professional doctors like you, offering opportunities to engage in meaningful discussions, connect with expert doctors, and be part of advancements in healthcare. Explore the MedSynapse platform right now to make the most of these remarkable opportunities. Until next time, take care and keep advancing in your medical journey. Goodbye.